Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. Ang problem natin for today ay mula sa hydraulics and to technical engineering. And ang problem na ito ay isang passport problem na lumabas noong May 2014 at saka November 2013. Okay, let's start. A rectangular channel carries a discharge of 16.9 cubic meter per second. Ito ang ating discharge or flow rate or maximum capacity ng channel. When flowing 1.2 meter depth, if the width of the canal is 10 meters, okay, ito ang ating depth, 1.2 at saka base or width ng canal is 10 meters. Okay, and ito naman ang mga hinahanap. Specific energy, slope, at saka average shear stress. Average shear stress is also known as boundary shear stress or average tractive force. Okay? And wag din natin kalimutan na mayroon pa silang pahabol na roughness coefficient na 0 0.017. Okay? Proceed na tayo sa ating solution. Part 1, Specific Energy. Ang specific energy is meron siyang sariling formula and ito siya. Velocity head plus depth. G is acceleration due to gravity. Okay. Wala tayong velocity. Pero meron naman tayong discharge. And dahil dyan, makukuha natin ang velocity using the formula of discharge. Wala tayong area, pero meron naman tayong base at saka depth. So, walang magiging problema dito. So, combine natin itong cross-sectional area, itong equation niya dito sa discharge, and masusob na natin ang velocity. Velocity natin is 1.41 meter per second. And ang specific energy natin is 1.3 meter. And ito ang ating final answer. Okay, proceed tayo sa ating part 2. Slope. Ang slope na, ang formula na may slope ay itong velocity. So, may, nakuha na natin yung velocity. So, gagamitin natin ang kanyang formula. So, hydraulic radius. Okay. So, hydraulic radius, cross-sectional area with its perimeter. And combine natin lahat or itong dalawang equation na ito dito sa hydraulics. Okay. So, makukuha na natin dito ang hydraulic radius. Hydraulic radius natin ay 0 0.968 meter. Ayan. And, masosolve na natin ang slope.
Okay. Slope natin is 0.0006 and ito ang ating final answer. Okay, ang panghuli. Part 3 ay boundary shear stress or average unit tractive force. So, itong boundary shear stress, meron siyang sariling formula and ang formula niya ay ito. Unit weight ng water which is 9,810 Newton per cubic meter. And hydraulic radius at saka slope. So, ito ang kanyang formula. So, wala tayong magiging pro problema dito dahil nakuha na natin yung hydraulics, hydraulic radius at saka slope. So, compute. Boundary shear stress or average unit tractive force ay 5.7 newton per square meter. And ito na ang ating final answer. Ayan. Okay, problem solved mga kapatid.